Incredible. Perfect. And we are live. All I right. want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have a magnificent guest with us today, one who is going to give us some amazing information as well as information, and that is none other than the incredible prodigy herself, Sister Yanis Celestina Muhammad. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great. How are you? Excellent, excellent. And uh, that name is very powerful. And uh, man, and we're family, and I'm just honored that you would take time out of your busy schedule to come on the People's Podcast. So I saw a picture, and I want you to, you know, let us know about who you just met today, ma'am. Yes, I met the first Black woman to go to space today, just a few minutes ago. And it was, I was in awe. It was the best experience, the most I have never been that surprised before. Like I was just in the middle of practicing my graduation speech that I have to do next Tuesday, trying to get it over with. And then I see her and I'm like, wow. Like, is this real right now? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now, for those who are watching, everyone, thank you for showing love all around the world. What we want to know is how did someone decide you woke up and said I want to go into aviation how did that come about basically it started at my school South Mountain High School they have the aviation program I always wanted to be a pilot I mean I always wanted to be a flight attendant but my mom told me I should try to be a pilot because the school offers it so why not why not go to extra stretch so I'm mm. like okay I never thought about flying the plane but I'll try it and I like fell in love it's like the best thing ever now Wonderful. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So at 16, you made your mind up. Yes. That's incredible. Okay. And what has been some of your favorite um, experiences so far dealing in aviation? My favorite experience will have to be soloing. Finally, okay. Okay. That um is, it really, everything you've been working towards really pays off in that moment. Because all that hard work, all the stressful nights of having to study, it all comes into play because I had to do a go around when you land. I had to do a go around on my first solo, which is when you you're coming into land, but then you get like knocked over or something. So you got to do full power and then go back around the airport. And I was like, I never did this by myself, but I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. So I did it. And then I was like, this isn't too bad. I could stay up here. Like it was, I felt like I was in control at that point. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, my sister Miriam, and uh, sister Miriam says, peace family, peace Mimi. All right, so now I wanted to ask you. So let us know. So you're soloing. You, the people who have fear of heights, how, like how did, how did you just you just walked up and conquered it? You just said, "No, nah, I ain't no fear," and you just read and it just took off. Oh, let me see, fear of heights. What's what's that? When you go up there, it's it's funny because when you go up there and you look down, you would think it's scary, but you could see somebody playing tennis, somebody swimming in the pool down there. You're like. Oh, that's nice. Or it's the high school over here. I never knew it was a high school over here. You're just, mm. you're so calm. You're just in the air. It's peaceful. You don't got to worry about nothing. Like you, everybody thinks you're just going to fall out the sky. You're not just going to, you're not just going to drop out of the sky. You're going to have a lot of time, enough time mm. before you fall out of the sky. So it's, it's not as scary as you may think it is. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm, that's, I'm honored that you, to watch you go through this. I'm living vicariously through you. Um, Sister Miriam says, congratulations on your aviation success. Wishing you continued blessings. And speaking of blessings, I'm going to share your GoFundMe on, uh, on my platform, but I want to make sure that we share this on YouTube and all around. What is the, the goal, the name of your GoFundMe, and how can we support it right away? Yes, sir. So my goal is to attend Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas, to become a professional pilot and then become an EMS pilot first, but I have to finish getting all my ratings, which is at Texas Southern. And the finances, college is expensive, but being in a flight program, there's extra expenses, like having to have 5,000 in your account each semester just to be able to fly because you have to pay for your flight each and every day. So that's mm. an extra. On top of tuition and housing, I have to pay extra money just to fly. So it will be so greatly appreciated if anybody could help donate or just share it. Just share it. It is called help fund a future pilot on GoFundMe. I have it on my phone. Um, let me see here. 
Yeah, it's called Help Fund a Future Pilot. It's easier if you have the link, but I'm mm -hmm. sure if you want to go fund me and then type it in, that'll work too. Yeah. Yes, so don't, donate to help find a fund a future pilot. And then it has my whole story under it, how much I'm trying to raise, 40000 and then how much I have raised so far. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to let you know, uh, uh, Sister Rhonda says, so happy to see you on the People's Podcast. Congratulations on your success. We're going to make sure that we share it and spread love in the People's Podcast. You can count on it very soon. We're going to donate. So just know that. Um, Thank you. Anything that you need, we want to make sure we get the word out as well. Um, once again, help fund a future pilot. Here yeah. we have a brilliant young woman who is pursuing her dreams. When you win, we all win. I want to make sure that everybody out there, let's let's um, let's make sure we go to GoFundMe and support you. This is incredible. I I know a few pilots, but not they're not women, and they've been doing and they were doing it way before I met them. So for yeah. us to be able to go along with your journey, that means a lot to us. And for you to come from such strong genes, for you know from your grandparents to your parents. And your uncles and your aunties, we we got this is something that that I feel obligated to do to show love to you and to your family for all of the all of the work that you all have done, your parents have done, but to see of course your grandparents, but this is just incredible. Um, peace family, thank you, Naima, for showing love. And let's make sure, you know, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube. But let's talk about your middle name real quick. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. So how how did that name come about? <laughs> Of course, it's a long story, but long story short, it is my grandma's first name, Celestina. Um, mm. she, my grandma wanted my first name to be Celestina, but my mom made a deal with her saying, if she's born on your birthday, she'll be named Celestina. But if not, then that's not going to be her name. My grandma was like, okay, she. my birthday is December 5th, my grandma's birthday December 10th. So since I was born mm. a earlier, she was like, we'll make it the middle name. And it's it carries a lot of weight. I always have her with me in my heart, but not only in my heart, but in my name. So beautiful. <laughs> That's amazing. And shout out to uh, well, all of your your uncles, your aunties, and your cousins. I've had the honor of interviewing um, Monty, uh, Mina, and um, <laughs> as well as having your uncle Amir on the show before. And we we share nothing but laughter and jokes as well. So. Um, I go back with your mother. I mean, she was, you know, when I was a little child, your mom was around. But your grandparents, um, man, it's an honor to meet them and to know that I got to eat your grandma's, you know, phenomenal cooking. Like nobody could like, you know, see your grandma, the turkey burgers at the salam and um to see their grandchild, you know, doing great things and pursuing your dreams. I just want to make sure that we show you love. And I want the whole nation and all of the people podcast affiliates, everybody who's watching to understand. That this here we have an 18 year old young woman who's pursuing her dreams in education who wants to who is going to be a pilot and we want to make sure that we show love and support and put our um love as an action word so once again uh on gofundme help fund the future pilot help fund the future pilot and we want to make sure that we support you how was uh the astronaut may jameson how would how, how was her spirit and her energy towards you today her energy was amazing. She, I don't know if I made her nervous. I started crying and she was like kind of hesitant. I don't know. I was like, I'm, I'm, I didn't know if I should walk towards it. I was just like, wow. I, I just watched her interview last Friday about her story. And she said that she is the first woman to go to first black woman to go to space, but she's not the last. And that really stuck with me. So to see her today, I was just like, this the same lady I just watched. I, what is going on right now? <laughs> yes. that's, that, that's incredible so now speaking of, uh, of of space and wanting to go you know to hire you know whatever I don't know where however you can fly you know in a plane is that something that you want to go to eventually too you want to become an astronaut you may want to go to space like her is that oh, what you're saying definitely. I'll be in space Bye. next week <laughs> Most, I have always wanted to go to space but I have a fear of not being able to come back down like flying mm. planes that's nothing but Going up in a spaceship, I always like space in the stars, but from down here. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm speaking it right now. I'm telling you guys I'm going to go to space, and then I'll come back and tell my story. Yes, ma'am. And, and the only thing that, uh, first of all, uh, Naima says that's beautiful. Mimi says, 
uh, help fund the future pilot on GoFundMe. Let's support. And Sister Rhonda is putting the hearts in the uh, chat. Thank you all for the love. I want to make sure that I ask you, once you come back from space, can the People's Podcast get the exclusive interview? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I, I want to, um, uh, what advice would you give to others who about pursuing their dreams? About pursuing your dreams? The biggest thing is having faith and sticking through it. It's going to get hard. Life isn't easy. If No matter what route you take, it's going to be hard. You, all you have to do is persevere and get through it. You're going to have bad days, but on the next day, you need to say, okay, yesterday I had a bad day, but today's going to be a good day. I'm going to make it count. It's going to be better. And then you, you're going to go, and you're going to make that day a better day. Because you, if you want that dream, you're going to go get it, period. You, you could do it. You just yeah. got to put your mind to it. You got to work at it. Yes, ma'am. Now, um, thank you, Brother David says he co-signs that speaking to existence and his name says that's so beautiful. I wanted to ask you about what are some of the things that it takes in like on your day to day when you're in school, go, you know, before you go in the, the sky and you're doing a go around and all of this, you know, technical stuff. Is it mathematics? Is, is it science? What's is it physics? What's the main thing that you have to study? That's really funny that you asked that. Because there is a lot of answers, but you need to study everything. The basic things are science and math, but being a pilot isn't just that. You need to know engineering. You need to know health stuff. Like You need to know one thing about each field because it all comes into play. And if you don't know it, you will not succeed. Like There's not one thing that you don't need to know. You're always, a pilot is constantly learning constantly learning if you talk to any pilot they're going to tell you they're always learning something new excellent let's get on gofundme help fund the future pilot now my sister maima um gets upset because i always talk about one of my favorite movies which is top gun the uh -huh. one from back in the day as well as the new one are there any movies that um that you see dealing with aviation that inspire you or that you enjoy watching as far as flying um, or any space movies, any Star Trek. So is there anything that you like, oh, that's kind of cool. How do you do that? Do those maneuvers? Um, is there anything like that that you enjoy? I know I watched Top Gun last week. Not last week. Okay, last, yeah, okay. <laughs> last year or the year before last, I was never really into it. But when I started flying planes, I can relate to the stuff he was talking about. So once I watched it, I was like, that's cool. I would want to fly a fighter jet, but I don't know if I would like go to the military or anything like that. But mm -hmm. that was, it's really cool. He was talking about like his gauges, his airspeed and stuff. And I was like, exactly. how is he accomplishing that? Because if I do that in my plane, I'm done for. It's not going to work. <laughs> so, yes, ma'am. What what type of music do you enjoy listening to when you get, when you get down time? <sighs> um, I like R&B music. I okay. like gospel music. I like, um... I like reggae music. I like some Bob Marley. He's so, my grandma listens to Bob Marley. So when I listen yes, to like, one love, I'm just, in a, <laughs> I'm in a peaceful place. When I hear Bob Marley, every I'm like, I'm fine. That's a, that's a great thing. Yes, ma'am. And all of those genres are great, but shout out once again to Sister Celestina for um, playing reggae music in all of her island, the St. Thomas. I learned all of that because of your grandma. So, you know, she was putting me on uh, when I was very young and when everybody would try to, uh, it was very strict and disciplined sometimes at the restaurant, um, the salon restaurant where your grandmother would cook and she would be like, Joshua, don't worry about them. Like, you can come be with me. It, and I, and it was a lot of dietary stuff I didn't want to eat or, you know, I had like a special diet and your grandma would always look out for me. She'd be like, nah, I'll hook you up. I got you with this. I got you with that. And I, I used to get so tired of some of the things that, that we just we would we would be at the salon every day. Mm -hmm. And your grandma would be like, I'll hook you up with something different, I'll hook you up with something new. So shout out to Sister Celestina, shout out to Brother Celine, and shout out to all of their children. But today, shout out to their granddaughter, and of course, shout out to your moms. I have just great memories of your mother. I saw her recently, probably like two years ago. I'm gonna say three years ago in person, but you I did. you know, yeah, so I got to see your moms a lot. And she every time I see her, she makes me smile. Because she reminds me of my childhood and happiness, and may Allah bless your your whole family. Um, but this, I want to make sure that we support you all once again. Everybody who's showing love, let's get on um, GoFundMe, help fund a future pilot. And you're going to what university again, ma'am? 
Texas Southern University. Texas Southern. Let's go. Let's go and we want to make sure. Yes. Your, your win is our win. Um, we got people in Texas. We got people that's there. You always one call away. If you need anything from me, my family, we right here, the People's Podcast. That's why we put it on YouTube, putting it into the world. Uh, I want everybody to, who's watching, if you have any connections, let's make sure we support her. Let's make sure we reach out to her and um, show love. Man, I, I look forward to being on a plane that is flown by you. And um, let's make it happen. Anything that, you, anything that you need, we're here to support you. Once again, help fund a future pilot on GoFundMe. I'm going to share it on my social media. And I'm also going to make sure that we share it on YouTube today. Uh, man, Mae Jameson, I learned about her from my mom, so I felt like as soon as your mom's asking me, she was like, you know, the first one, I'm like, yeah, Mae Jameson, we had to learn about her, and to see that you met her, and um, that y'all are carrying on a tradition, that's incredible. Once again, thank you again, ma'am, for taking time out of your busy schedule. I want you to just enjoy yourself and know that we, you got support, and we're going to put our money where our mouth is, and let's make sure we all help fund a future pilot. Thank you so much. I, um, the lady, her name is Cyan Proctor. Oh, Cyan Proctor. I don't know why I keep saying, oh, my goodness. I don't know why your mom's having me saying May James. God, God. <laughs> okay, okay, one second. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, Cyan Proctor. I don't know why I was saying May James. Okay, there's a breakdown of communication times. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Cyan okay. Proctor. She's amazing. She's so okay, cool. Thank you, Tasha. I mean, you could have told me that. I keep saying, baby James. All right. Same Proctor. Boom. I got it. I just changed it on Facebook. Same Proctor. I want to make sure I spell her name correctly. Um, oh, okay. Boom. Saeem. Okay. Boom. And what advice would you give to other Black youth to help on their educational journey? You belong. Even if you... No matter what nobody tells you, no matter what it seems, if you're the only black person in the room, you belong. You walk in it like you belong with your chin up and your chest out because people are going to doubt you. People are going to look down on you. Oh, a black person doing this? They're not going to last long. Yes, you are. Yes, you mm. are. You belong. But always remember that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go ahead and teach. Go ahead and teach this. Yes, ma'am. Well, wow, I want to make I want to make sure that we continue to show love and no matter what, don't let nobody kill your spirit. We got your back. Thank your you. Your positive energy. We, we right here with you and we know that you're going to win and uh, let's make sure that we continue to show love to you. And I want to thank everyone who is watching the People's Podcast. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Thank you again, ma'am. And make sure we all go to GoFundMe, help fund the future pilot. Thank you all for watching. Man, you inspired me. You gave me the inspiration I needed today, so thank you very much. Thank you. This thank was you all for watching. Uh, thank you, Tons, for always showing love. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you all very much.